Good morning, little nerds. I am here with Isabel, a beautiful and talented and famous makeup artist. You guys have all commented on in recent weeks, I had done my makeup for an event and the amount of DMs that came in about the makeup looking amazing, I could not take credit for. So this is the lovely artist um, coming closer. <laughs> I am Dr. Shereen Idris, by the way, a board certified dermatologist. Every Saturday morning, we do a pillow talk germ related to skincare, cosmetics, or beauty. And given that she's in the beauty world and she created that beautiful look, I figured I would walk you guys through a step-by-step -step tutorial while she does it, because I had no idea what she did. <laughs> All I know is skin prep. First things first, her face is clean, my lips are very dry because I've been licking them, and the winter air is dry, as you know. Mm -hmm. So this is something secret that I'm working on. It just allows to hold on to the hydration slightly longer while calming the skin. So that is the first step of my routine. And then, like always, mm -hmm. I Love personally always prep so with good. my hyper serum. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forced my skincare on Isabel <laughs> and uh, you know, I actually put stuff on her face all the time. It gives that extra sheen. And then in terms of moisturizer, because we're dry, I'm going to use the Active Seal. A half pump is all you need for your face. I put a little bit extra. Just a side note, and we've talked about this a lot because she is a makeup artist. When you're layering on products that have actives, it can pill as you layer them on, especially as you're applying makeup and you're trying to rub things on. So you have to kind of go less is more and pat, 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 and try not to rub the makeup on top because it can pill as it dries down. So a half pump is all you need. It's an active moisturizer. So it has actives in it. It has vitamin C and a few other ones like ceramides and peptides. So just be aware of that. And last, we basically baste our lips <laughs> while we're prepping. So she puts a shit ton of nipple cream on my lips. A lot, like more than normal. <laughs> this is a trick I think I am proud to say I taught you. It usually just like goes like this and just like, Mm -mm. Puts it on. Mm -hmm. I did not exfoliate, so I'm just literally letting them marinate. And Isabel, Amazing. you're it. <laughs> so let's get started. So first thing I do is brows. I like to use a very thin pencil. This is the Anastasia Brow Wins on Shireen the shade Taupe. I like to go a little bit lighter, especially if the person has darker brows already. Mimic two shades of uh, in the brow so it could look the most natural especially in photos now we're done with our eyebrows they are i think the most important part of a face because they sort of center the face next step is eyes before skin before skin yeah so to avoid any fallout and we're gonna do the skin no matter what so after the eyes are done it, it'll kind of bring it together okay, let's clean. do it ensure that the eyes are free of oils so i like to do this with my fingers i'll take a dry brush and just kind of soak up any oils. And with the same brush, I have a little bit of concealer. I use the um, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Take like the lightest wash, clean canvas. One of the best pencils to use if you're afraid of eyeliner, because it's skinny, it's detailed. I have Shireen do is kind of close her eyes, and I like to always start towards the end because that's where I'm going to create more depth, most of the depth. And then, with an angled brush, we're gonna kind of blend it and smear it, but also we're gonna stretch the liner out. Once I'm happy with the shape, I'll go back in and reinforce the color. So now that that's done, we're going to move on to the smoky, smokyish part. How do people do this every day? <laughs> like it takes for, I love it, but I'm like. If you do this on a day-to-day -day basis and you're doing it every day, you're gonna get it down faster and faster each day okay. and you're gonna get so fast at it okay so this is the dior warm neutral palette and i'm going to be using this shade it's a shimmer brown when you blend it it gives that like smoky effect mm -hmm. versus just using a matte and when i put it on it doesn't look like shimmer on the eyeliner but a little bit higher as well you want to go soft and slow Mm -hmm. So it's given it a little bit of depth. How are you feeling? Smoke it. <laughs> smoke it. Smoke it. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of the matte shade. Just a little bit. Anytime I pick up product, I pick it up and I take it off a little bit somewhere on my hand or something. So I'm not directly putting so much product. I have more control of it. With that matte shade, I'm just going to press it onto the eyeliner on the end. And that's just going to give the, uh, that eyeliner a little bit even more depth. Now to the light and bright part. 
I use the Rare Beauty Wellbeing Eyeshadow Stick. If you want to get into eyeshadow and you want something easy, you just put it on your eyes, but I like to put stuff on my hand and do this. I just want like a wash, like a watercolor. So I'm focusing it in the center of the eye. You can take whatever's left of the brush and kind of just like bring it outward. Another tip that I will give for an easy marrying of the eyeshadows is to flip your brush over to the side that you didn't pick up eyeshadow from. Well, that's like profesh. Like, <laughs> I don't know what side I'm picking up. Like the brush would have two different colors on each side. How do you know? How do you know? We're gonna be recreated. <laughs> okay, gonna be, I'm just gonna shut up and just let you do it because I'm like, how are, do people actually pay attention to what side of a brush they use? I think they do, yeah. Really? Yeah. I feel like if you want to be like... Leave a comment below. Let me know if you pay attention to what side of a brush you use. I'm <laughs> curious. Okay. So this is the Bodyography Glitter Pigment in Strauss. It's so pretty. Glitter, yeah, that sounds really scary. But honestly, when you put it on, it gives like this wet kind of effect. And it's just a really beautiful topper to use on any eyeshadow that you want to do like if you're afraid of doing a smoky eye you could just take a cold pencil smudge it and smear it all over your eye make it look nice and then get one of these they have so many colors pop it on it looks so expensive it looks uh, so beautiful curious. and i just use my finger when i okay. use it because it, that'll help like melt it and won't look so concentrated just take a little bit of it and just pop it in the center of the eye and then with a clean finger i'm gonna blend it and now when we put the mascara on and everything, it's going to tie it Very together pretty. even more. Put your mascara on first, and then that will determine where you want to put in your individuals. I like to focus it really, really close to the lash line, because that will kind of um, give it like an illusion of an eyeliner. You want to cheat eyeliner and not draw like on your whole entire eye. Mm -hmm. I always like to tight line really, really close to the lash line on the bottom in between the lashes. And when you I look, do that. Yeah, right? And when you I look far that. away, it looks like you did your whole eye, but it's just like a very, very skinny line. Yeah, 100%. And you see, it changes it. It's oh yeah. Hard. So now we have our eyes. We're going to go in with the falsies. I hate strips. <laughs> I hate strips more than anything. I don't know about you, but they're just <laughs> not my thing. So I love yeah. when she does just individual ones just on the edge so you can look like a little... Yeah. Butterfly. I feel like if you are if you are anything like Shireen, I would purchase these. These are the Ardell Not Free Short. And the reason I say not free is because it's seamless. So you don't see where it starts or ends. A little bit of the lash glue. I'm going to start at the end. And that's it. Just pop it on. <laughs> it's very easy. That's right. It sounds, it sounds it scary. It sounds easy. I think it's, it's harder than it is though. No? It's you know what it is? It depends on the glue that you use. Really? Yeah. This glue is really good because you don't have to wait for it to dry. Isn't it all about the angle? That too, yes. When you're doing it on yourself, you want to look down into the mirror. I take the mirror and look down like that. So I usually do like three there and then I'll go on the other eye and put three. You want to take the mascara and kind of marry them together. Our eyelashes are done. I honestly think it changes the whole look once you put the lashes in. Love it. Now we do skin. So yes. what do we do for skin? So for skin, we're going to do the Clay de Peau Radiant Liquid Foundation, concealer, blush, and highlight. Okay. I'm mixing light ochre and light medium beige. So shade 10 and 20. But I use more of 10 because she's a little fair. <laughs> she's nice. Okay. I told you guys, she's too polite. Okay. So I'm taking shade 10 from my palette. Again, the lighter one. The lighter one. And I'm going to start by using it in the center. And she's going very, very light. It's not that much pressure at all. Yeah. So like I said, when you have moisturizers and creams and skincare with actives, you can't be like, you know, smearing mm -hmm. it on because it will eventually fill with the actives. Mm -hmm especially as you're layering stuff underneath your makeup. And especially if you're wearing sunscreen. We skipped sunscreen today because this was a nighttime look. But actually, I'm curious, what kind of sunscreens do you like underneath your makeup? really like the Super Goop Glow Screen underneath my makeup because of that glow. It has like those like optical diffusers yeah, in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And it helps me add less makeup. Mm -hmm. I agree. You know, I, I like to see skin. I don't like to feel foundation. Mm -hmm. 
So on my clients, I like to be sympathetic to that. As you can see, Shireen has great skin, so we want to respect that. Okay, it's all about, that. yeah, it's all about just giving a, like a polished second skin, not giving her another face. I think for me, it's just <laughs> like my inner corner of my eyes and my under eyes, especially as allergy seasons are worse. Or like if I slept four hours a night before, like it just gets a little bit sort of vascular mm -hmm. in here. And that's the place where I always am trying to open it up. Doing concealer or foundation, the point is to kind of knock out the areas mm -hmm. that are making you feel like you want to feel fresh. I like to do this technique because when I go in with concealer, I'm not using too, too much. NARS Radiant. This one you used in the beginning. Correct. Yeah. And this is in the shade Paying Creme attention. Brulee. Paying attention. I think <laughs> I used to use some Chantilly. Chantilly. So that was pretty light. I don't know. I get I, 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 I <laughs> I caught myself in a picture and I'm like, what's going on with my face? I Chantilly, went for the lightest Chantilly color. Chantilly is literally the lightest I one. I went yeah. for the lightest one thinking I didn't know like how to match myself. <laughs> and I saw myself and I was like, ooh. I'm just taking a little bit. I never pick it up from the middle. Always spread it out. Go into those areas that Shireen said that she likes a little bit of brightness, which is in the inner corner. I also like to take a little bit of it, like snatch that eyeliner up. We're taking a smaller brush because it's going to be more detailed and give it more of like that defined. Almost like you're outlining, like when you were a kid and you would outline stuff, mm -hmm. like from a coloring book, mm -hmm. and then drag the color down. And then with your finger, you want to press it in. We don't want people to know we did this trick. We want people to be like, wow, she can do eyeliner. She's great. It's great. It looks so much more crisp. So no. Foundation and concealer are done. I don't powder till the very end because I like everything to sink okay. in and marinate. So for blush, I have this palette that I made. This is from Half Magic. Use these two shades, Don't Be a Doll and Pink Mushroom. I take a flat brush. I like this because it hugs the cheek. Go on the high points of Shireen's cheek and press. It's okay if it looks a little alarming. Because mm -hmm. we're going <laughs> to take- I was like, ooh. I'm going to show you another trick okay. that I do. Okay. So I take a little bit of what's left of foundation and I put it on top as an eraser oh. so it looks like the found it looks like the blush is coming from within can i ask a dumb question then what why not blush first before doing the foundation you could definitely do that it's called underpainting. oh that's what it's called but i like the way i did it it gives a cream blush grip because i've already done your skin underneath wow it does look better so now i'm layering layering is super key to makeup and longevity love it love it okay <laughs> all right next step is Highlighter. So I'm gonna supply the highlighter because <laughs> I have it. This is Miss Katie Jane Hughes's Hypa Serum, like she says. Yes. Hypa Serum. It's in light pink. And I'm gonna do it. Can I do it? Because I feel like I've Yeah, go ahead, do it. it. So this is her Hyper Serum in light pink. And then what she does is, she, I wanna say it like, I take a bit of the Hypa Shine. You know, <laughs> my terrible accent. And she does a tiny little poop of a drop like that and then she takes her brush and with her brush she mixes i love how she says it i'm not making fun of her because i do this in front of her face no same um she mixes the highlight and then then i don't know yeah then i always mess it up because i i actually try not to use the brush i use a beauty blender when i do it myself so did i put too much because like <laughs> she's being polite i think i put a lot on that brush also, I was Katie's assistant for like six years, first assistant, so <laughs> I know the method to her madness too. Pop it on first, roughly, to the high points. And then I like to take my fingers and just melt it in. Another tip that I like to do with this, I like to kind of take it through the brow bone a little bit, just here. Not too much. And last is the lip. Okay, so this is Subculture from MAC. And I'm just gonna trace her natural lip. This is like a peachy kind of color because my signature for Shireen has to have some peach in, in there. Then we're going to use a Tower 28 gloss just to give a little bit of shine. This is in the shade Chill. And when I do gloss, I like to put it, focus it on the center mainly. And the other one you used that I loved is the Tarte one. Yeah, that one was really nice. It's called White Peach. Mm -hmm. So it kind of emulates this vibe, but it has a little bit of like a sheer peach mm -hmm, mm -hmm. color to it. And there you have it. This was Isabel's look for a smoky eye, glowy skin, and peachy, glassy lip. 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys can emulate it. If you do, please tag me and tag Isabel. It will be in the comment description bottom of the page below. Um, and let us see your looks. You guys can tag us on Instagram. She's not yet on YouTube, but I'm trying to get her to get on YouTube. All right, have a beautiful Saturday and I will catch you guys next week.